Tanya. Thanks for watching. Um, my name is Kay. My channel mostly focuses on content that is fashion, beauty, and sometimes sneaker related. Today, what I'm going to be doing is unboxing my first um, Telfar bag. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to jump right into it. I um, bought this bag during a bag security program. I believe it was in October, and we were told that it could ship up until um, the end of March. Um, so, mine just came recently. Um, I'm definitely going to unbox this on camera because FedEx had, like, lost my package. Um, they said that it was delivered, but they didn't really deliver it, and I had to do a whole claim and all these things. Um, so I do want to make sure that the bag is actually inside. This is a small size bag. Um, I thought this is my first Telfar bag, um, but it's kind of really not my first time, my first one, because my mom also ordered one at the same time as me, but she got hers about a month or two before mine. Um, and that's right here in this bag. Um, but my mom got the large size, and she it was too big for her, so she gave it to me. So that one was really my first um, Telfar bag, and this is going to be my second one. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and unbox um, this. Oh, first I'm going to just, just for, um, in case I have to do a claim for FedEx, I just want to show that this package is sealed. I've not opened this at all. So I'm going to open it now. And I'm not going to use like the tripod or flip it around because this package is so small. It's kind of pointless. I could just open it like right on the camera and show you guys uh, what you need to see. Okay, so I know like my hair is crazy looking and my skin looks crazy as well. I tried this new facial cleanser know, and I it didn't. Buy a box so I have to put like a whole bunch of aqua for on my face. So that's why it's shiny. And I also got into another freaking and car accident. And so my back and stuff. And my neck is hurting again, so, so I wasn't able to out. take my hair down. But I'm working on that right now. Um, so I'll some new videos up next and week. And it comes in this little, um, and it's plastic bag. And I'm taking off the dust bag, and here we have it. This is a small bag, and this is in the color yellow. And it comes like this. So I'm going to take off the, like, this stuff. And here we have it. And this bag is actually really, really, uh-oh. <laughs> it's like, it has a bend in it from being folded. So I'm gonna have to put something, like stuff something inside of it so it, the bend can go away. Um, here we have it. Now I knew that this bag was small, but this bag is really, really small. Um, I don't know if I'm, okay. I think that I would like this bag still, but I may give this one to my daughter. Um, cause her birthday's coming up and I always get her a bag, but I have not gotten her a bag yet. I haven't found a bag that I wanted for her yet. Um, so I may give her this bag right here. Um, cause yellow is her favorite color. I'm, I know like whose favorite color is yellow, but it is my daughter's favorite color. Um, so she might really, really like this and it's like a perfect size for a little girl. Um, I'm not saying that it's not a perfect size for somebody who's older because it's still a very nice bag. And I think that it will be really cute if you just like hang it off your shoulder, um, and it's really tiny, but like me, my, my hands are big um, and I don't see myself like holding this bag. Well, it's not that bad, but it it just looks smaller like compared probably to, compared to my body, my hands. I don't know. We'll have to see when I try it on. But anyway, this is the bag. Um, I am. Let me show the inside. I'm sorry. So here's the inside of the bag. It has a snap closure. Magnetic little snap closure. And then it has the um, the tag, which I think is kind of cool. It's a cute little tag. And that's it. There's no pockets or anything like that inside of this bag. Um, I am. I know that I may be asked um, about what fits in this bag. So um, I'm going to just quickly do that for you guys. Um, I've already showed y'all what I pretty much carry in my bag, on the, typically, um, which is not a lot. Usually a phone. This is my old phone for these purposes only. Um, I have a lotion. A car holder, a hand sanitizer, which I usually put inside of my bag, but if the bag is too small, then I just clip it somewhere on the outside. 
I usually have my AirPods, some perfume, and this stuff is in the Ziploc bags because um, I've had stuff spill in my bag and that's just not, I don't like that. And I have a daughter, so I always have some kind of snack because she gets in public and acts like I don't feed her. And then I have um, a little a beauty pouch, which usually doesn't have very much in it. There's usually just like lip gloss, um, a liner, nail file, a backup set of nails. And there's usually like some glue or something in here, but I don't have any glue in here right now. Um, if the bag is too small for a bag, like for one of these, then I put it, take the stuff out and put what I need inside of here. This little bag is really cute, but this is, this is my February Ipsy bag. Um, and I just thought it was super cute, so I saved this one. Um, so anyway, enough talking. I'm going to see what actually fits inside of this bag. Um, so I'll start with this phone, and I'll just stick that in there. And then we'll put the phone, I mean, the card holder, because I definitely need that. So I'll put that inside of there. And it's how much space we have. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and put my AirPod case in. And that's where we at. And then I'm gonna put lotion in there and um, perfume. And this is how much space we have. So out of this, I'm gonna take out the absolutely ne absolute necessities. Um, and in this case, it's just gonna be these two items. And I'm gonna take that out and stick that inside. I'm gonna take this neck. This is where we are now. I'm gonna take this neck and just put it on top. And we are full. Um, I don't even think that with this amount of stuff that I'll be able to button it. Let's see. I probably should have packed it, pack it, pack this a little differently. Yeah, it's not gonna close with the cookies on top. Um, but everything does fit and it can be open like this. And this is what it looks like filled fill with everything inside. Um, and these are the handles. Um, something that I think is cool is that most bags have one shoulder strap um, when they when it's like uh, when it can be carried both ways. But this one they gave you two straps, which I think is really cool, and it will help um, evenly more evenly distribute the weight of the bag, um, so that it's not like super super heavy on on your shoulder. Um, so that's definitely definitely appreciated. But I'll probably need to hang this um, hang this up on a hanger. So that these can straighten themselves out a little bit. But of course that will happen naturally over um, with use. So anyway, if I take the cookies out of here. Um, I'll show you guys what they closed. Okay, it's still not really wanting to close. Maybe um, my closure is a little bit um, defective or something. Yeah, it doesn't want to stay closed. But whatever, that's not really important to me. Um, let me know if, if you guys have this bag or have a small bag like this, if you have problems with, um, closing your bag, let's see if I take the phone out, will it close? Cause I'm curious if it's just something wrong with the closure or if I have, yeah, it'll close and then it just kind of, well, there it goes. It's, it's closed now, but I have to put a very minimal amount, a, a very minimal about amount of stuff inside for it to close this way. Um, overall, this is really, really a cute bag. Um, the vegan leather feels good. It's soft. Um, really, really soft. It's almost kind of reminiscent of a, of a real leather, um, which I appreciate. Um, I will put, I don't remember how much I paid for this bag. I will put the pricing on the screen. Um, if you're not familiar with the way that this works already, they have restocks on particular colors. Um, every so often it's announced. Um, it goes really, really fast. So you got to be quick. Um, the first bag that I actually tried to buy was the Moose Knuckles um, in Telfar puffer tote and i had payment failure and i don't know why um but anyway it just would not accept my car and then it sold out um so there's that but i'm hoping for a restock they seem to be restocking they restock like all the other bags and they restock the ug bags a lot of times so i'm really praying that they restock the um moose knuckles puffer tote because that's the one that i want um but this bag is really really cool like i said i gotta do it in the back security bag so if you don't back security drops so if you don't want to participate in the drops um which can get a little bit crazy it's kind of like a sneaker release then you can um do the back security program um that allows you to buy as many bags that you as many bags as you would like um without the pressure 
Um, they made, they're made to order and they ship as they're made and ready. Um, but you might have to wait a really, really long time, but I guess it's better than, um, trying to on release day and risking a sellout. So anyway, here's this bag. I'm not going to say much else about it. Um, it's to me, it's looking like this might be my daughter's birthday bag, honestly. And I'm just going to briefly show you guys this one in comparison. This is the cobalt color. Um, this was the one that my mom bought and did not want. So she gave it to me. Um, this is a large. And it's pretty big. This is like a travel size bag. It's a metallic blue color. It's kind of hard to maneuver this on camera. That's how big it is. Um, so this is the inside of this one. This one does have a zipper compartment. And it has the same type of tag. Um, and it also has a pocket. I think it's just one pocket. Yeah. It has a big pocket right there. And um, I don't think that you guys need me to do what fits in this bag. Because you can pretty much fit literally anything in here. Um, I can even put like this bag inside of here. If I put this bag inside of here, it still has like an entire space. You could probably fit like 10 of these little small bags in here. Um, I have to put the price in because I don't know what the pricing is. But if you're a big bag type of girl or you travel a lot or whatever, this is definitely the way to go. Um, I think I'm more likely to um, like the medium size. Um, and I've been looking at the painter's tape color and also the, um, the new corned beef color, which is a really, really cute pink. Um, and I think I'm going to go for either of those in the medium size. Um, small is cute. It's cute and a little dainty or whatever, but I don't, I don't know if I'm really like sold on this. Maybe it's the color. I don't know. Um, it's still cute, but I just think that this is probably more suited for my daughter. But if you really, really like small bags, um, you probably will love that one. Um, I usually like mini bags, but I don't know if I'm really sold on that particular one. Um, so again, this is the large. This is the small. And I don't have a medium one on hand to show you guys the size difference. Let me put this in front of this one. This is the large and this is the small. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I am still excited to have this bag. Um, excited to finally receive them i'm excited for both of these because this one was free um so you know i love this one um i definitely love love free um but the small one is really really cute i just think that this will make a great birthday gift for my daughter and then i don't have to go hunting and try to find her a bag right now um so yeah anyway thank you guys for watching um until next time bye